Battle of the Brains, presented by Virginia 529, Central Virginia's high school academic quiz show. Today's match features the Battle of the Brains Season 20 All-Stars. Hello and welcome, I'm Cheryl Miller. Thanks for joining us for Battle of the Brains. We're celebrating our 20th season of producing Central Virginia's only high school academic quiz show. Our competition welcomes teams from schools all across the Commonwealth of Virginia. And today's final match of the season features eight of the season's outstanding players in a special all-star match. The academic athletes joining us today are the teams designated as Hawking, as in Stephen Hawking, Austin from Princess Anne High School, Hannah from Kickatan High School, Will from L.C. Bird High School, and Cooper from Trinity Episcopal High School. And Team Einstein, Albert Einstein, of course, Nathan from Cave Spring High School, Nick from St. Christopher School, Timothy from Maggie Walker Governor School, and Trevor from Princess Anne High School. It's great to have all these students back with us today as our all-stars. We'll introduce you more to them ahead in the match. Today's match will consist of three toss-up rounds. To answer, players will buzz in and wait for me to call on them. Any interruption of questions with an incorrect answer will result in a point deduction. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, teams, our teams have been chosen randomly and seated here. Let's go with the first toss-up round. Round. What nickname is given to the statue presented each year by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts? Trevor. Oscar. That is correct. This synthetic element was discovered in 1958, named after the inventor of dynamite. What is this element? Nathan. Nobelium. That is correct. Characters in what racing video game include Princess Peach? Boo. Timothy. Mario Kart. That is correct. What Asian city hosted the 2020 Summer Olympics? Cooper. Tokyo. Correct. Henry Kissinger served as what cabinet position? Austin. Secretary of State. Correct. For the Nixon and Ford administrations. The Eudemian summary says that in Pythagoras' time there were three means, the arithmetic, the geometric, and the subcontrary. Austin. <laughs> Square root. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Einstein. The term subcontrary was later changed to what? Oh. Trevor. Harmonic. That is correct. What city is the setting for Victor Hugo's classic novel Les Miserables? Austin. Paris. Correct. A basketball team has two players playing the guard position. One is called the point guard. Austin. Shooting guard. That is correct. It is the other. What famous historical document was signed in 1620 by William Bradford? Austin. 1620. Mayflower Compact. Correct. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say, Austin. Miranda v. Arizona. That is correct, the Miranda <laughs> Rights Act. <laughs> William Shakespeare's The Tragedy of King Richard III opens with what famous line? Trevor. Now is the winter of our discontent made <laughs> glorious <laughs> by the son of York. Okay. <laughs> we didn't need that much, but thank you so much. That is correct. It is zero on the Kelvin scale and negative 273. Timothy. Absolute zero. Correct. All right, teams, watch the screen and listen carefully. Here's a Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch, and you must wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. Wintergreen Ski and Golf Resort is located in which county that shares its name with one of Bart Simpson's friends and an English admiral? Trevor. Millhouse. That is incorrect. Cooper. Nelson. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, wait. Okay, all right. Nelson. That is correct. Name the award-winning American composer who composed the score for the movie's Close Encounter of the Third Kind. Superman, Jaws, Trevor. John Williams. Correct. Located at the, in the Campo de Miracoli, it stands 117 feet tall, has 294 steps to the top, and is 17 feet off center. Timothy. Leaning Tower of Pisa. Correct. A famous Italian landmark. He was the last of the so-called five good emperors. <coughs> Timothy. Uh, Antoninus Pius. That is incorrect. Name this emperor who was succeeded by his son Commodus. Cooper. Marcus Aurelius. That is correct. What does the R stand for in motorsports NASCAR? <coughs> Trevor. Racing. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> it is a city located on the Seine River. Austin. Paris? That is incorrect. Oh, I'll dang. finish for Team Einstein. <laughs> it's also the capital of Upper Normandy. Oh. Name the city where Joan of Arc was burned at the stake in 1431. Trevor. Orleans? It was Rouen. Rouen. While studying... 
Oh. While studying Cepheid variables, he discovered that the Andromeda Nebula was in fact another galaxy. Identify this American astronomer and namesake of an orbiting telescope. Will. Hubble. Correct, Edwin Hubble. Located at the confluence of the White and Blue Nile, named the capital city of Sudan. Uh, Austin. Khartoum. Correct. And that buzzer means the end of our first toss-up round. Good job by our team so far here on our All-Stars match. Up next, we'll introduce you to today's All-Star players as Battle of the Brains continues. Battle of the Brains is always available. Find full episodes on YouTube and follow on Battle of the Brains on social. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And let's take a look at the scores now following the first toss-up round here on Battle of the Brains. We've got a tie score right now. That's appropriate for an all-star match. Both teams have 80 points right now. And we'll get back to our match just ahead. But first, let's introduce you to today's all-star players. We'll start with Team Hawking. Our first player is Austin Zhao, who is a senior at Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach. She's in the International Baccalaureate Program and is the commanding officer of the Princess Anne NJROTC unit and says he likes wasting hours of time on Wikipedia, likes doing kind of all kinds of uh, research. So Austin, where are you planning to go to college and what are you going to study? I'm going to go to UVA and don't exactly know what I want to study, but I plan to go to law school after. Maybe you should look that up on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have. You'll get an answer. Our next player is Hannah Bunting, who is a senior at Kickatan High School in Hampton. Is part of the Governor's School for Science and Technology. Will be planning to attend VCU as a guaranteed admission to medical school and will study neuroscience. Congratulations on that. Thank so you. Hannah, tell us a fun fact about you. Yeah, I really like sports and uh, I got my black belt when I was 10 years old in Taekwondo. and. I uh, started swimming when I was four years old, so just want to continue that, that passion for sports probably in college. I should not mess with you. Exactly. <laughs> Anyone wants to come up on the streets, I'll protect you. I appreciate it. Thank Got you, you Hannah. Back. <laughs> Next up on our team is Will Wade, who is a senior at L.C. Bird High School in Chesterfield County, enjoys playing volleyball. And Will, I hear you have a summer job lined up already. Tell I, us about I it. I do have a summer job, so I work installing AC units over the summer, which is pretty rough considering it's the summer, but it's fun. I bet that keeps you busy in Richmond. Mm -hmm. in it definitely area. does. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right, and Cooper Michalik is a senior at Trinity Episcopal School in Richmond. Uh, will be attending the University of Denver this fall. He likes tennis, <laughs> soccer, and swimming. Uh, so you're headed to the University of Denver. That's a long way from home. Why did you choose that particular school? So I chose it because, A, I love the city of Denver, and then also, as many of my friends know, I'm a diehard Broncos fan. <laughs> so that did, in the end, tip the scales for me for going to the Pioneers. Uh, go to some home games, I hope. Yeah, I hope so, too. Uh, all right, thank you. That is our team Hawking on our all-star match. Lau, let's meet our players who are playing on Team Einstein. First up is Trevor Dar, who is a senior at Princess Anne High School in Virginia Beach in the International Baccalaureate program there. Enjoys playing the guitar, writing, and participating in student government. Um, Trevor, you play a lot of music. Is there a work of art, because art is music, that inspired you the most? All my knowledge of the Western canon. I cannot in good faith state that there has been a greater artistic achievement than Pink Floyd's album, The Wall. That is a good one. We don't need no education. <laughs> All right, next up is Timothy Porter, who is a senior at Maggie Walker Governor's School here in Richmond, enjoys playing the guitar and the viola, and hopes to study mathematics at UVA. Um, does playing music help you with your math studies in any way? Uh, it absolutely does. You get a sense of rhythm from music that really extends its way into math, especially in higher level, higher level math with integration and abstract algebra. It really becomes more of an art than a science. That's a good answer. Nick Manettis is a senior at St. Christopher's School in Richmond, is a member of the varsity tennis and futsal teams, plays guitar and saxophone, and enjoys writing short stories. Will be attending Princeton University in the fall. Um, what is that going to entail, and uh, how does uh, international affairs fit into your future plans? Yeah, so I, I thought I want to be an English major for a while, and I mean, obviously it could change, but my uncle does uh, a lot of work with the Peace Corps, and he was going to Georgia this summer, so I thought he meant the state Georgia, um, but no, it was actually the country Georgia, so I went with him on a trip this summer there doing service, and it uh, kind of like changed my perspective a lot and made me want to do international affairs. 
sounds great. We wish you luck with that. And wrapping up our All Stars team is Nathan Sprouse, who is a senior at Cave Spring High School in Roanoke. Uh, writes and arranges music, plays several instruments, including the cello, bassoon, oboe, and clarinet. And Nathan, I understand for a school project, you created a synthetic reed for your clarinet. What inspired you to do that, and did it work? Uh, yeah, I created, I used plastic to form my own synthetic reeds by melting and molding, and they did end up working. I wanted to make it just because it was something related to music, since I had to do something chemistry-based, and they did, they did work. They actually played decently well. Well, it's so good to have all of these all-star players here with us. It's been good to get to know you over the season of playing Battle of the Brains, and now that we know a little bit about today's all-stars, we'll get back to the questions up next, another toss-up round when Battle of the Brains All-Stars continues. This week of Battle of the Brains. Or want to catch up on the full season of gameplay? Find full matches on our YouTube channel. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here's a reminder, the current team scores here on Battle of the Brains as we play our All-Stars match, Team Hawking and Team Einstein, both with 80 points. And now it's back to Battle of the Brains and another toss-up round. And just a reminder, team will lose points for interrupting a question. If they have an incorrect answer, the other team will then have a chance to answer. And there is no conferring in the toss-up rounds. All right, teams, here we go. Respectively, the bands Rush and Iron Maiden had successful songs with Xanadu and Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner based on the poetry of what... Trevor. Samuel Taylor Coleridge. Correct. Founder of the Romantic Movement. The Alcatraz Federal Penitentiary. Trevor. San Francisco. That is correct. It's located <laughs> off what West Coast City. Lasting between 1756 and 1763. Austin. French and Indian War. That is correct. Or the Seven Years War. Acetosilic acid is the chemical name. Austin. Aspirin. That is correct for what well-known medicine. What is the term for a substance that lowers the activation energy? Austin. Catalyst. Correct, by providing an alternate reaction pathway. All right, teams, watch the screen. Listen carefully. Here's another Virginia-based video question from a member of the Battle of the Brains Brainy Bunch. And again, wait until the question is completed before buzzing in. With its first broadcast on April 22nd, 1948, what was the first television station in the southern United States? Trevor. CBS. I need you to be more specific. Central Broadcasting Service. <laughs> that is incorrect. Um, okay, Cooper? Uh, WTTR. That is incorrect. It's WTVR. That's us right here. We celebrate it's good, it's good. our 75th anniversary this year. <laughs> Published in 1877, what famous novel set in Russia and Italy has Trevor? Oh, crap. <laughs> um, Master and Margarita. That is incorrect. Has the following opening line. Team Hawking, all happy families are alike. Each unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Cooper. Crime and Punishment. It's Anna oh. Karenina by no. Tolstoy. What is the name of the ancient Babylonian ruler credited with Austin? Hammurabi. That is correct. Name the element that was once used in thermometers because Austin. Mercury. Correct, because it's liquid at room temperature. It is the largest water reservoir in the United States. Name this lake located about 30 miles southeast of Las Vegas. Trevor. Um. The aqueduct. Oh, no. That is incorrect. 30 miles southeast of Las Vegas that was created by the Hoover Dam. Will. Lake Mead. Correct. Speaking ill of football coach Bear Bryant in Tuscaloosa is considered sacrilegious. Spell sacrilegious. Cooper. S-A-C-R-E-L-I-G-O-U-S. That is incorrect. Team Einstein, anybody want to tackle it? Timothy? Um. S-A-C-R-E-L-I-G-I-O-U-S. That is incorrect as well. It's S-A-C-R-I-L-E-G-I-O-U-S, sacrilegious. What actress portrayed the character of Elle Woods in the movie Legally Blonde? Cooper. Reese Witherspoon. Correct. First published in 1831, name Mark Twain's work, which tells the story about identical boys, Tom and Edward Trevor. Uh, the Prince and the Pauper. That is correct. A natural logarithm is a logarithm in which the base... Timothy. E. 
that is incorrect, I'll finish for Team Hawking, is a logarithm in which the base is the irrational number E, which is approximately 2.71828. What does the natural log of E equal? Cooper. One. Correct. Name any one of the five sounds that constitute the western border of North Carolina's Outer Banks. Trevor. Ogre Coke. That is incorrect. Team Hawking, Cooper. Arbor Marl Sound. That is correct. Also, Roanoke, Kiratuk, Croatan, and Pamlico. This mausoleum on the southern bank of the Yamuna River in India was built Austin. Taj Mahal. That is correct, in memory of the emperor's wife. And that buzzer means one more toss-up just ahead and we'll double the point value. Stay tuned to see which team is today's winner here on our all-star version of Battle of the Brains. Love Battle of the Brains and ready for your high school team to play next season? Get in touch. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more. Welcome back to Battle of the Brains. And here are the scores as we head now into the final round of this All-Stars match here on Battle of the Brains. Our team Hawking with 180 points, our team Einstein with 80 points. Now for this final toss-up round, the point score for a correct answer is doubled, and so is the penalty for an incorrect answer given before I finished reading the question. There is no deduction for an incorrect answer to a completed question. All right, good luck teams. This is our final toss-up round. Created by the Treaty of Versailles, Cooper. Uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, a League of Nations. That is correct. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Good job. <laughs> Champion of the rights of migrant workers and women's rights, Dolores Huerta is one of the founders of what union? <laughs> Timothy. United Farm Workers. That is correct. The eighth led to the death of Louis the Ninth. The fourth sacked Constantinople the second. Austin. Crusade. Correct. A 13-letter word, bouillabaisse, is an elaborate French seafood stew or trouter made with many kinds of fish and shellfish. Spell bouillabaisse. Austin. What? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, B O I think I got it. U I L L A B I S E. That is incorrect. Team Einstein. Mm. Trevor. Here we go. B O U I L L U I B A I S E. That is also incorrect. No. It's B O U I L L A B A I S S E. Bouillabaisse. Oh, this property arises from the Higgs boson and its value, Austin. Mass. Correct. It's a property. What actor posthumously won a Best Supporting Actor Oscar? Cooper. Keith Ledger. Correct, for The Dark Knight. Germany's Kiel Canal connects with the, ba the Baltic Sea with what other sea? Austin. North Sea. Correct. Name the three-word term for a period during which Maximilian Robespierre and his supporters. Austin. Reign of Terror. Correct. Guillotine thousands of their enemies. At what famous Washington, D.C. landmark did Martin Luther King Jr. Trevor. Lincoln Memorial. Correct. Deliver his I Have a Dream speech in 1963. Usually pictured as a goat, it is the zodiacal constellation between Sagittarius, Austin. Capricorn. That is correct, between Sagittarius and Aquarius. A cell may have 10,000 of these structures, many of which are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum. Trevor. Ribosomes. Correct. This South American revolutionary leader was known as... Oh, shoot. Austin. <laughs> che Guevara. That is incorrect. I'll finish for Team Einstein. Was known as the Liberator. Timothy. Simone Bolivar. Correct. In 1987, referring to the Berlin Wall, Cooper. Reagan. Ronald Reagan famously <laughs> said, Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. It is the smallest in area and most densely populated country in Central America. Cooper. Um, El Salvador. That is correct. <laughs> He fought in World War II, was promoted to Brigadier General during the Korean War, became superintendent of West Point in 1960, and served as commander of U.S. forces in Vietnam. Name this military leader. Nathan. Eisenhower. That is incorrect. Austin. General Smith. General 
Westmoreland. Okay. <laughs> William Westmoreland. The popular name for this work, its composer's Opus 27, number two, comes from a vision of a boat on Lake Lucerne. Trevor. Moonlight Sonata. Correct. Noticeable when listening to terrestrial radio, name the effect in which two superimposed waves combine constructively or destructively. Austin. Interference. Correct. Name the layer of the Earth's atmosphere between the troposphere and the mesosphere. Austin. Stratosphere. That is correct. This 10 letter word is usually associated with dealing with certain conditions of the heat. Identify the word whose meaning is existing at or dating from birth, but not usually hereditary. Trevor. Acquired. That is incorrect. Hawking. Austin. Postnatal. The word is congenital. And that buzzer means the end of our match, our all-stars match. While our judges double check the final score, here's a reminder of how to stay connected with us here at Battle of the Brains. Stay up to date on Battle of the Brains. Follow along as your favorite teams advance this season. Visit battleofthebrains.net to learn more and follow the show on social at Battle of the Brains. And now here's the final score for today's All-Star Match featuring eight of this season's standout players. Our final score for Team Einstein, 180 points. A great job today by our team with Nathan, Nick, Timothy, and Trevor. Our winners of the All-Star Match, our special game of the season, is Team Hawking. Great job today by Austin, Hannah, Will, and Cooper. Congratulations on that. I'm Cheryl Miller. Thank you so much for watching and playing along here on Battle of the Brains, and we'll see you next week. Great match, teams. Game over. Thank you for watching That Love the Brains, presented by Virginia 529. Goodbye.